Welcome back to the garage where we're continuing work on Project Unintended Spending, the 1987 Audi 5000 CS Turbo Quattro that I bought with tons of issues. In this video, we're gonna be taking on rebuilding the front strut housings. They're in a terrible condition. Let's go check them out. Here they are, and we've already touched on this in a previous video, but clearly the strut cartridges themselves are shot. They've been leaking. I've already cleaned these up a bit to take all of the grease and oil off of it for the most part, but these are leaking heavily. Then the strut mount bearings, which allow the entire strut assembly to turn with the steering rack, is seized, and it causes an incredible amount of resistance to the steering rack which is one of the reasons it caused the steering rack to blow out so that is another thing we'll be addressing then there are the wheel bearings which are very very shot this car is very front heavy so it puts a lot of wear and tear on the wheel bearings on these cars so we'll be taking that on as well also just clean them up repaint them make them look really nice we have new strut mounts at the top as well and we have new boots and bump stops to go on when we put everything back together. Those parts are completely missing, so that just basically tells us these have never been touched in this car's entire life. Lots of steps to this job, so let's get to it.
And there we are, it's now at its fully disassembled point, and what a battle it was to get that wheel bearing out of there. Again, this is the original wheel bearing to the car when it's had plenty of winters, lots of salt, and we had tons of corrosion preventing that wheel bearing from coming out. I had to try every trick in the book, and there's no way I could have done this without that 12-ton shock press that I've got now. I love that tool for sure. There's our old strut out of there. This was the good one. It's still leaking, but it still has a decent amount of fluid in there. But obviously we're replacing that. You can see I've completely mutilated this bearing, which is the only way to have gotten it out. I had to buy this bearing separator to pull this inner race off of the hub, and that worked pretty well. I had to apply lots of heat, lots of PB blaster, but got it all off. I am just happy, just happy I did get it out. Now it's time to clean up this upright assembly. I'm going to put some scotch Brite in here, make sure there's no rust left on there. So it makes it easier to press in the new bearing. And I'm gonna tape up some various spots and we'll give it a new coat of paint. And here we are, everything is now cleaned up and repainted so it should look pretty fresh once it's all reassembled. Our strut housing is cleaned up and I was able to scotch Brite the inside of this bearing insert so we should be able to press that in no problem backing plate is repainted I repainted the uh, exposed surfaces of the hub just so it looked clean and the top spring retainer just hit it with some quick black paint to cover up some of those rust spots and the strut mount and top hat i haven't replaced the strut mount yet i went ahead and painted it in place that way i can actually see the alignment i can just line up the new strut mount exactly where the paint outline is and it should be good to go for the most part at least to get something that resembles alignment anyway but that's nice and black now and then over here we have the brand new parts there's quite a lot of parts that mount up to this strut assembly the big one here is a new wheel bearing from febby bilstein it's a very high quality part, it comes with all the hardware you need to install it, including new snap rings and pinch bolt. Then we have a new strut mount here, there's the upper bushing part, which also comes with a new strut mount bearing. It's interesting, these are constructed of plastic, so is the original one in fact. It's pretty amazing that these can hold up to the abuse that suspension goes through. Then we have a new bump stop, this has just got kind of a anti-wear coating on it and then we have a new strut boot you won't believe how hard it was to find two of these i had to order from two different vendors and it was like basically the last ones in the united states so i'm not sure what's going on there but i have them and then we have a new kyb strut it requires the spacer to fit inside of the strut assembly but uh should mount up just fine comes with a new top nut as well so, lots of new hardware, lots of new parts that need to go into this assembly. Not much else to say, then let's put it back together.
And here we are, both front strut assemblies are now completely rebuilt, repainted, and looking very refreshed. New wheel bearings make all the difference up front. Absolutely no play and silent like brand new. And of course, new struts, new strut boots, strut mounts, everything. It's all done. I was just fortunate to actually still find all the parts needed to do this job. It was an absolute battle getting the wheel bearings removed and installed. I definitely could not have done it without that 12 ton shop press that I went out and got. But thankfully I put it to use and it is done. So that's all we have for this video. As always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.